Okay. I think we've got critical mass here. If other folks come in, that's great. I'd like to get us started so that we can hopefully end on time again. Uh, good afternoon. Meeting eight out of nine. Thank you all very much. Um, today we're going to try to identify some priorities for the task force amongst the many recommendations that you've identified that you support. And we're also going to give you guys a chance to give me some edits and suggestions and feedback on the draft <coughs> report, which is in your packet. And both of both the ballot and the draft report are going to be up on screen. And we've been able to make some extra copies of the ballot for members of the audience who want to might follow, follow along. Um, Let's just run around the table really quick with introductions. I'm Karen Reed. I'm the facilitator for the group. Uh, David Hall with the city. Deborah Wright, city. Dan Templeman, police department, Everett. Bob Dobler, Gamut 360 Holdings. Mark Manti, the Everett Clinic. Bob Reese, Volunteers of America. Georgia D. McLeod, Council of Neighborhoods. Cassie Franklin, Cocoon House. Matthew Savage, Journey Church. Jonathan Oppwan, The Salvation Army. Craig Scottdahl, Scottdahl Real Estate and the Downtown Everett Association. Ed Peterson, Housing Hope. Tina Ellison, Everett Housing Authority and the City of Human, um, the Needs, the Human Needs Grant, City of Everett. Sophia Beltran, Lutheran Community Services, Northwest. Alan Doorway, First Everett. Glenn Bachman, Everett Mall and Commissioner, Port of Everett. Tom Smashing, Come South. Ken Starks, Nohomish County Human Services Department. Mark Nysether, Sea Dog Corporation. Chris Adams, uh, lawyer. Sylvia Anderson, Everett Gospel Mission. Great, thanks guys. Um, uh, one qu quick note, thank you for using your microphones when we, when we are doing talking together. Appreciate that. Uh, and also I wanna thank Mark and Derek who are our Everett TV gurus who are here and they spent about six hours getting ready for these meetings with the, all the cords and the taping and the tables and everything. So I just wanted to thank you gentlemen both for all the work you've done to help us be on TV and hopefully, you know, people can actually hear what we're talking about. Thank you very much. Okay. I think I've already talked about the agenda and the materials. I will see, I'll turn it over to you guys for some opening remarks. Co-chairs. Uh, so just Sylvia and I have two different areas we're going to talk about. One of them is going to be about prioritization in a few minutes, and Sylvia will cover that. So we'll come back around to that. One just addition to the, the speaker, the microphones, is if you've noticed, you have a little bit more cord today. So I, everyone should be able to pull it in front of them and talk into the microphone. And I think last time Mark was speaking that way and trying to look this way. So hopefully we can resolve some of those issues uh, this time to make sure that everyone can hear. So if you make that extra effort, I'd appreciate that. But we have a big meeting today because we had a great discussion at the last meeting. Today is going to be about talking about priorities and talking about our draft report. Um, the draft report went through uh, a number of revisions already through the co-chairs and through staff, and, uh, and Karen did a great job uh, helping us put, put that together. So hopefully you've all had a chance to review that. I think it's a great start in terms of the report that hopefully comes out of this task force. We hope that you have a lot of comments about it. Uh, talking about the substance and content about it today. So I appreciate Karen for all the work that you've put into that and the staff. Uh, we're happy to report, and I think we talked about this a little bit at the, the last meeting, the mayor will be coming uh, to our last meeting, which will be meeting number nine, which will be in two weeks. So uh, we'll have that happen. Uh, and then one of the things, just from a, a, a topical area that we want to cover today, and Karen, I don't know if you want to cover this now or later from a motion perspective, but Bob, I think you brought up this at the last meeting is about, you know, what do we do as a task force about reconvening? Do we reconvene in six months? Do we reconvene at all? Do we reconvene every six months for a period of time? So that way we have accountability in terms of the recommendations that we're making. So Sylvia and I have talked about it, and I think we both support the proposition that we meet at least uh, at six months and 12 months to listen to the implementation team, uh, talk about what they're doing, and making sure that we have some accountability in terms of the report that we put out and asking the questions that need to be asked uh, from our perspective. So we want to put that out there for all of you to consider. I know, Bob, you brought that up, so I appreciate you putting that out there last time. So I don't know if you want to have discussion on that right now? Um, we could do that. That would that, okay. work if folks are comfortable. To, is, are you, is that, was that the last item on your Yeah, I think that's getting launched? Yeah. yeah, so by the time the mayor comes and meets with you all at the next meeting, it would probably be good if you could convey to him what your desires are as a group for reconvening. And I think that the basic uh, 
thing that's on the table is that David would, would be in charge of bringing together a small implementation team of agency and other government staff, and they would develop an initial, and business folks, thank you, uh, and they would develop an initial implementation response plan in response to your report, and they would be ready to share that with you in March. So if you want to reconvene, the first point to do that would be in probably in March or the beginning of April to hear the implementation plan, and then theoretically every six or 12 months thereafter for you know at least one year, maybe two, to hear about how the progress is going as we move forward. So that's the basic proposal, and if people are interested in doing that as a group, it would be probably a good idea to take a vote to that effect so we have that for sure nailed down. So, and I, that's, that's the basic plan. Are there any sure. questions about the basic plan or what? Does anybody think this would be a good idea? In addition, you guys can move, make a motion if you want um, uh, or anybody else out there can. So the idea is to ask to be reconvened to hear the implementation report and thereafter to be asked to reconvene at, at approximately every six and 12 months thereafter for one or two years to, to gauge the process and maybe report out to the community on what you're seeing. I would move that we reconvene at six months and 12 months uh, upon hearing the recommendations from the, uh, what do you call it? The implementation, implementation team. Yeah. Do we have a second to that? Thank you, George D. Is there any discussion? All right, I'm going to ask if, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstaining? Okay, awesome. You guys are going to be asking to be reconvened. That's great. Thank you. Um, so that, I think, will move us on to the approval of the meeting seven summary minutes. These are much shorter than a lot of the minutes we have been doing um, in the past, but they are in your packet, and I would ask if there are any corrections or additions. Uh, again, these are a lot more summary than some of the past ones have been, but they do track the decision points of the group. Are there any corrections or additions? And if not, I would love to have a motion to approve. So moved. Thank you, Georgia D. Second? Second. Thank you, Mark. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Awake? OK, good. All right, we're calling those done. Thank you. So now that gets us on to item five on the agenda, just that fast. Uh, prioritization of recommendations. We've talked uh, at last couple of meetings about whether or not the group would like to prioritize amongst the recommendations that you have. At the end of the day, you had 36 items that you supported by at least an 85, 80 percent in favor threshold and an additional 27 items that you that were supported by at least 60 to 80 percent of those voting on each item, on that item. So that's a lot of items and the question was whether or not it uh, was something that you wanted to do to call out a smaller subset of those recommendations as priorities. So we're going to spend some time trying to work through that right now. I don't think it's, it, I think it can be a powerful way of focusing your message to the community if you want to do that. But if it turns out that it's really hard to find that prioritization, we can either take a second stab at it, maybe with the co-chairs making an effort to bring back a proposal after hearing the discussion today, or we can just say, uncle, we don't, we don't want to do that. We tried. It was too hard. I'm not going to do it. But the co-chairs um, <laughs> thought both ways about this. And I should make, I'm going to turn this over to you now. You're going to turn it over to me? Yeah. Okay, that's great. Well, first of all, um, one of the things that um, I wanted to say is to thank everybody for the amount of time that we have put into this task force. So when I went back and looked at how much time, minimal time, it's at least seven to eight hours a month that you guys have dedicated to thinking about the issues that are happening in our community. So. Um, hats off to you, and I know Chris and I, we've put in a little bit more time, but sometimes we just do things without thinking how much effort and energy we've put into that. So, and for the people that have come and been a part of observing and who have sent in comments, I just want to say thank you that people have felt that they could have a voice and that they took the time to do that. So having said that, this is the hard part. So when um, we talked about taking 63 recommendations down to 12, I said to myself, that's almost an impossible task. So that's what we'd like to try to do today, is to see if we can come to a consensus about 12. Karen's saying 12 is the max. I don't know how totally we get to max. 12. <laughs> 12 to 15, 
If we can say that we can have some agreement as to prioritizing them, both short term and long term. So short term being less than two years, and then we understand long term. So um, the first thing that Chris and I, when we both tackled this, we came from two very different perspectives. So we tried to sit down um, last week at breakfast and try to come to a consensus. That's why you guys are doing it, because Chris and I were having our, just a different way of looking at it, totally. So I'm excited to see how this process comes out today. So we're going to try, Karen's going to explain the process. We're going to try to break into smaller groups and really go through every category and see if we can come up with some priorities. Having said that, one of the things that we agreed on when we saw it was that some of the things that we've recommended are things that the mayor has already identified. And it didn't seem to us to make a lot of sense to have those be part of our recommendation too, because those are kind of, we think, we're already in agreement. So we're gonna take out, when you're doing your assessment, you're not gonna have in there the ones that the mayor has already identified. Does that make sense? Because it's gonna be hard enough to do that. So if we can do that process and set those priorities, that would be great. Um, I think we are comfortable if we really can't come to that conclusion, if we want to give that um, authority over to someone. I, I personally don't want to be the one, Chris and I, to sit and say, you guys couldn't come up with a decision, so we're going to decide. So I, I, I don't want to do that. Do you, Chris? Okay, think, great. Yeah. So we're in agreement on that. So. Having said that, that's a process we're going to do today. We're going to take about an hour, right, Karen? Yeah. To go through that process. And hopefully, people kind of have in their mind what they would consider to be priorities. And we may be closer than we think. So we'll just see. OK. Right. A couple a couple clarifications. I, and I may have gotten. I think the idea was that the five of the mayor's recommendations would be something that you identify as, as similar. You are ready to support those, and you're glad he's moving ahead with those. And in addition to those five things, all short-term actions in the public safety sector, that you would identify additional um, recommendations, additional right. and different from those. And so the idea is, other than the five of the mayors, which the theoretically, the, so the first question is, would you be willing to identify or endorse the mayor's actions prior to theirs? The five that were in his letter, um, they're on this green sheet again, they were endorsed. The first four of the five of them reached 80% threshold support from you as a group. And then the chronic utilizer support response team was uh, a 60% recommendation. So, I, I, so the idea was that we would just say those five are recommended by the group, and then today in this exercise, look for other items that you'd like to call out as priorities. So let me just start, stop there and see if people are, are comfortable with that approach. Is there anybody that would not want to endorse the five items that we've already endorsed uh, as priorities in the report um, of the, the ones that the mayor has identified? Alan. Yes, uh, my question would be, what if upon reflection and in thought, I mean, it, what is the minority report or some comments, you know, whether it's the the larger proposal or even some of the mayors, you know, um, I know that for the five that the mayor proposed passed that at a certain percentage, uh, some of us did not agree with those percentages. And so I was just wondering what, what recourse or avenue to, express our thoughts on. Mm -hmm. Sure. We, uh, in your charter, we do have the concept that if there are folks that have strongly held positions in opposition to a recommendation that's moving forward, you could ask that those be acknowledged in your final report by, you know, like a sentence, you know, a subset of, you know, some folks express concern because of X. So it would be like a one sentence minority statement around that. Um, so that said, and, and yes, so I think part of the, the hopes for the discussion at the last meeting was to identify if there were some really s strong reservations on some of those uh, voting recommendations. And we didn't hear any, but if there are some today that you want to bring forward, when we talk, the time to do that would be when we uh, talk about the draft task force report and as we close in on the list of recommendations. Does that answer the question? Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. Craig. I was just looking for clarification on the fifth of the mayor's adopted um, recommendations. It says increase law enforcement presence with social services outreach 
Item number 11. And item number 11 was the Santa Monica model. Item 16 was increase the police presence. So it seems like it's both, not just item 11. You're saying that 11 and 16 are merged? Or the, or, or the, yeah. the mayor's recommended both? The, yeah, um, that, you're right, Craig. The, um, that item five, as expressed in the mayor's letter, was intended to state both an increased police presence in the commercial areas and that that would um, be done with uh, increased social service outreach as part of that effort. But you're right, it, it should be both of those. So it's, so it's 16 is kind of merged with it. Yeah, so we, we should reference both of those. We should re okay, I'm, I totally missed that, so that's my bad. So okay, it's actually then those six items there that are in the mayor's letter. Eleven and sixteen are together as one sort of item. Thank you, Craig. I had, and I, and I don't want to jump ahead, but I had when I was re reviewing this, there was mm -hmm. like two or three or four different items that sounded so similar to other items, yeah. and so it seems like we have an opportunity to merge a number of items. And and I think we can do that in small groups, but I just want everyone mm -hmm. to think about that because we get really excited about wording of our item, and then there's. There's ways that we could connect a lot of those and then we could all get a win. So And you may want to do that. You could do that by referencing the strategies mm -hmm. and the support. Those are our group headings for a lot of, of, of different ideas as well. I don't want to have to redo the whole ballot in no. big fat ways. That but would, I, but uh, I think in our small groups explore. if we can kind of say, and this could include pieces of, of this or that, okay. I think it okay. might help the... All right. So. So again, the, the starting uh, premise here that I want to see if folks are okay with is that the mayor's priorities would, you guys would say, and, and if there is, maybe Alan, you were saying you're not ready to do that. Um, but I, the idea that the co-chairs had proposed was that the task force endorse the mayor's priorities as priorities that you have and then identify additional priorities. So that's the concept. Are, is there discussion about that or concern about that approach, Alan? I have no problem with that, but I would like to at least note that I am against number three. So would, is, when, would that be, a, you're feeling strongly enough about that to be a minority report, minority yes. statement? Are you otherwise okay if the group uh, rec endorses the, these items as recommendations, as priorities? Yeah, my only concern was, my, my only strong feeling would be against number three. Okay. Any other thoughts or concerns about this approach here, just to sort of narrow down the scope of the discussion that you're about to have? Okay, we're gonna take, Chris. Just clarify two things real quick. The, yeah. the, dealing with the, the mayor's letter this way helped us just from talking about the priorities. And then the other thing I wanna add is, Sylvia and I both approached the priority the priority conversation from two different angles. We got to the same point, actually, but it was the process. And the problem we had was coming and making a presentation to you of what we thought should be priorities if you weren't sitting in the process that we undertook. And so the discussion was really helpful to us. So that's what we're hoping that these small groups will help you with, is do the same type of thing. And when we report back, do we see a lot of common issues or do we see a, you know, a lot of separation? And then we can have that part of the conversation. Okay. So we're going to have little. We're going to have facilitators for each group. We're going to. I'm going to have you guys count off into four group. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then go to corners of the table. The tape's going to go off because we'll be completely unintelligible. Um, take a ch take chairs with you and sort of gather around the corners and have a discussion. And let's see. This, the facilitators who are going to help you with the discussion are going to be David and Deborah and Wendy and Dave Koenig. Where's Dave? There he is. Okay, so they're gonna, they're gonna meet you in the four corners of this table and um, help you with this, and I'll be floating around the room. And Steph is second. Yeah, so uh, Ken Stark and Chief Templeman will just have to entertain yourselves for the next 45 minutes. <laughs> so. <laughs> they don't participate in the conversation? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, we wanted to try so, to actually have this just be task force members try to plow through this piece one. Okay. Um, but they could uh, probably be available for questions. They could they, be, certainly. Be yes, feel free to raise, raise a paw if you'd yeah. like a question answered by Ken or the chief. 
Good idea. Oh, we, okay. we can play cards while you guys are working. I think if they're rotating and participating, sorry, I think if, if they're rotating and participating, it would be very helpful because they do offer unique perspectives to all of us, and I think it's missing if they're not. There. Right. Okay, um, you guys can be there as resources for folks. Um, don't want you taking over the conversation, it's okay. All right, uh, okay, so we have sh we're looking for short-term recommendations and long-term recommendations, and we want you guys to work through each of the six categories in turn. So we've got, we've got six recommendations, short-term category right now from the mayor. You may decide that's enough, or maybe you wanna add a, a long-term one. Just think about it by category. All the recommendations that you have endorsed or recommended in category one, are there, what would be the priorities in this category? Maybe we've got enough now, maybe we don't. Then do the same thing with each of the other six categories. And we'll see, try, try to limit the number that, of recommendations that your group comes up with to no more than 12. If you come up with a lot fewer than that, that is just fine. David, question or comment? Do they have, do they have to be distributed that way? Do they, do they have to have... Um, recommendations in each of the six categories? No. Or could they, okay. I just want you to consider each of the okay. six categories and I want you to consider short term and long term <laughs> in, in your process. So just consider all the boxes up here and then we'll have everybody report out and we'll see if there is a, a consensus that has naturally evolved or not and then we'll figure out what to do about that. Are there questions at this point? Okay, so I'm gonna ask you, the task force member just ca to count off for which group you're gonna be in. You get to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, Excellent. If anybody else comes in, I will distribute them accordingly. Um, so um, if, do what you do, can to help some chairs slither around the side so you can meet in the corners. I'll move my chair. David can move his. Facilitate, group facilitators, pick a corner, have a good time. Thank you, Everett Channel. We'll reconvene in like 50 minutes. Which corner? Which?